Okay, so just a few quick things before we get into the video. So a while back I promised a bunch of people I'd be posting a video from Calgary Expo. Uh, yeah, so that was a while ago and I know some people have been waiting on that, but this is just to say it's still coming. Um, in fact, here's a quick clip. Alright, so right now we're in Winnipeg. There's Tony right behind me. So my buddy Dave, who normally tables with me, he is kind of not on the plane right now. So turns out he forgot his passport, his driver's license is expired, and they wouldn't let him on the plane. So yeah, that's kind of a problem considering that he has half my display. Uh, yeah, and I didn't even know the whole flight. Tony just came here and told me, so I literally thought Dave was here the whole time. Yeah. Uh, so, I don't know what we're gonna do right now. I guess we're gonna, I don't know, figure out how to get to the show ourselves, see what we can do, and wait on him, because he's gonna... I guess find a different flight. I don't know. Good first day. <laughs> Good first day. How about you, man? What are you thinking so far? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Good first time doing the show? Oh, yeah. Let's hope the rest of the show doesn't go like this. Anyways, so yeah. Uh, again, it's coming. It's coming soon. Just got to get around to finishing editing it all together. But yeah, that's enough rambling. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Enjoy! What's up, guys? I'm Lewis. Some of you may know me as Spider Sane. Um, a lot of people for a while have been asking about my process on social media. Um, it's kind of hard to say because I is usually different piece by piece, but I thought, you know what, I'll just record it, that's probably the best way to show it. So, uh, here it is, I hope you guys like it. Um, I figured, you know what, let's start with Cyber 6, because that's a show that's, in my opinion, really freaking good, you know, like, uh, it sucks that it didn't do so hot when it came out, but, oh, it's so good. If you guys haven't seen it, Highly, highly recommend you watch it. Um, I mean, for the time it was super dark. Uh, even though it was way lighter than, in tone than the comic it was based on. But, uh, if only, it, I think it was just eight years too early, you know? If it just came out eight years later, I think people would have taken to it. Especially with the shows we have out now. But anyways, um, so yeah. This is me just sketching out some ideas. If you guys haven't seen the show, it's kind of got a sad undertone to it. Um, so my mindset drawing this was really... I, I wanted to capture the feeling of the two characters, Data7 and Cyber6. Um, this feeling that they're kind of alone in a way. This feeling of, this undertone of sadness, uh, you know, them not really belonging. That's kind of what my mindset was going into this. And I knew that I wanted some composition that kind of showcased the city, because the city, Meridiana, is a really big part of this show. So, that was a big problem I had with these sketches. There were some that I really, really liked, but... They, because of the angles I show, I used, oh, this is just some pics I grabbed from when I was in Ottawa a few weeks back. But anyways, sorry, uh, so yeah, I really wanted to show the city in the background because that's a big part of this show, you know, there's a lot of character in the city itself. In fact, one of the things I like most about this city is it's very worn down, it's very gritty looking, nothing looks new, everything looks very rusty, very aged, um, 
it just gives it this harsher feel, which I feel is very different, you know? A lot of shows, they have these nice, beautiful cities, and it is a beautiful city in its own way, but it's, you know, it it's really gritty when you look at it closely. So, I thought the city's super important to get in here. But anyways, okay, so... Another iconic thing in this show is they have this giant statue of an angel. I think it's Gabriel. I don't know if I'm right. But, uh, yeah, they have this giant statue. Um, so that's kind of what I have silhouetted in the background. Um, but, yeah. So uh, this is roughly where I started liking where I was going. Uh, I took it into... Um, Clip Studio Paint from Photoshop. I just like Clip Studio Paint way more, personally. Um, getting the lines in Clip Studio Paint, it's just... I don't know, it just feels more natural for me. Maybe you guys feel differently, I don't know. I just find my lines look better in Clip Studio Paint. But anyways, that's not what I'm using it for at the moment. Right now, I basically set up the Perspective Ruler and I'm using that to help me rough out my perspective based on the sketch. So, yeah, um, just roughing in a few different compositions with the city. It's going to change a lot. Um, another thing I tried to do a lot with this, I don't know if you can tell yet or not, but I tried to use spoke wheeling. So basically, if you look at, say, the clouds, the clouds are all pointing towards... Cyber Six, the girl. And, um, well, I guess they just conveniently disappeared now, didn't they? Okay, uh, how about the angel's wing? The angel's wing is facing her also. It's pointing at her. Parts of the composition are pointing towards her too. Once the clouds eventually come back, they'll also be pointing at her. Basically what it is is I'm just using the lines to tell you which way you should be looking at so a lot of the a lot of the lines in this image i'm purposely making them point towards her even data seven is looking up at her face because that's where i want you to look at i want you to look at those two especially cyber six so yeah hopefully you guys can see that i know this is going by really fast and it's gonna flip back and forth a lot just because I'm checking if things still look okay once I flip the canvas but uh yeah so I hope you guys noticed that um so now I'm doing a, f a quick rough pass on the character uh I don't know if I noticed yet at this point okay I did so the head was way too big um, but yeah, I'm basically just doing a rough pass on the character. God, Data 7, my god. The pa I, I guess I don't know how to draw Panthers. I swear it changes like 20,000 times. Um, yeah, it, it's going to change a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Um, yeah, so anyways, I'm working on her because I feel more comfortable drawing her, I guess. Um, again, doing the leading lines with the cape. Uh, there it is. Fixing up the panther, changing it all up again. Oh, my god, that was a large portion of the drawing. A large portion of it. Um, okay, so now, uh, <laughs> it's a hand. So the hand's going to change a lot also. I, I guess I didn't know what to do with it at first. You can't see this, but behind the scenes I'm actually contorting my hand, trying to draw it in the poses I think might work. There's the one I actually settle with. Uh, okay, so now's actually the cleanup. I actually really like cleaning up, to be honest. Uh, I find it really kind of therapeutic in a way it's it's just you turn off your brain put on some awesome music or something and then you just go it's fun um but yeah this is why i this is probably the main reason i like clip studio paint 
over Photoshop. Just the line quality I get, I, I don't know. I haven't been able to get the same kind of lines in Photoshop. Like Photoshop you can do so much with, but uh, the lines, I, I just can't get them as nice as I feel like I can get them with Clip Studio Paint. Um, I'm actually going to show you some interesting things I found out about Clip Studio Paint later on. For now, it's just going to be line art for a while, so I'll let that run. If something cool happens, I'll, I'll bring it up, but for now, it's just cleaning up everything. Uh, nothing fancy. Oh, I'm, I'm making notes just to see what size brush I use for, you know, different parts of the foreground. If it's closer to me, there'll be thicker lines. If it's further, thinner. But yeah, pretty much just clean up right now. Nothing all that crazy. Um, yeah, so this weekend I was at Fan Expo. Um, and Dave, the guy that I was talking about at the beginning of this video, also wasn't there. He found out relatively last minute that he had a wedding in the States, so I had to table by myself. Um, it was actually really fun. I, I was a little worried, to be honest, at first, but it was actually really cool. And actually, tying back to Cyber 6, I'm actually surprised how many people recognized it. Like... Even kids, there, there's people that weren't born, quite frankly, when this came out. And yeah, I, I was pretty surprised people recognize this. But, uh, yeah, Fan Expo, really fun. I didn't film it, sorry, if you guys end up liking the Calgary Expo video that will be coming out. Uh, I didn't film it. I, I was debating it, but since I was going by myself, I wasn't sure. Actually, okay, here's one of the interesting things. Uh, maybe in another video I'll show you how, because I was I didn't discover this on my own, but there's this crazy magical tool in Clip Studio Paint that you could just paint in the lines, like magically. It'll calculate it, and it won't paint outside the lines as long as you're relatively within the bounds. It's... it's crazy when this was the first piece i found that out with but uh, once i found that out my it, it just cut so much time out it's insane um uh maybe I'll, I'll be doing it with the buildings later so i'll call attention to it when it gets there but oh man when i found that out jesus uh but yeah uh, back to line art, nothing fancy, just cleaning it up. Um, by the way, it might be kind of hard to tell, but I'm actually not using the perspective tool for the cleanup. Um, I did use it for the roughs underneath, but I decided, I, I was kind of debating it for a while, but I decided ultimately I wasn't going to use it for the cleanup, just kind of sort of trace over top it. Uh, over top of it, rather. Um, it kind of gives the lines a bit more character, I think. Uh, it takes more time, because, you know, you have to do it by hand, and your lines don't go necessarily where you want it to. But it, it gives the lines a bit more character, because there's flaws in the lines that way. So, yeah. Okay, so now we're getting to the coloring stage. I guess I finished the line art more or less at this stage. So, um... At this stage, I'm kind of just block trying to figure out roughly what I want the colors to look like. I had an idea in my head what kind of colors I wanted, but I'm just playing around with it. These aren't final by any means. These aren't used in the final by any means. They're just... I'm just playing with it, seeing what kind of mood I can get from it. Um, I know that right there, those are ugly colors. I do tweak them later. They're just kind of placeholders I was just kind of thinking of the the base color because um, if you look at cyber 6 or data 7 especially in the cartoon they're they're largely filled in with black but the purple and the green is shade like the nasty puke green that's kind of the color they use in their highlights I want to say 
So that's what I filled in. It will change actually later on, but it doesn't matter. That was just to kind of fill in the area, you know, make it easy so I can mask it later. Um, that's exactly what I'm doing with the backgrounds now. I actually have on, I think, my other monitor. I may have um, some reference images. I'm just kind of trying to get two or three base basic colors that they use in the show for the backgrounds, making sure I try to get it as close as I can, more or less, so that it actually does feel like the city. Because as I said earlier, the city's... It's a big deal. Like, it's it's a pretty big part of the show. So, I wanted it to feel like it was that city. Um, yeah, so now I'm just fixing lines, making sure that there's some lights on to, I, I don't know, make it look like people actually live here. Uh, yeah, just filling in the background. Nothing fancy. Alright, so at this point, I'm pretty much just trying to add some texture to the buildings in the background. Uh, I was looking at a lot of anime backgrounds, Disney backgrounds, stuff like that. And, I don't know, it, it just, to me it feels a little bland when it's just a flat color. So, I mean, it'll still look bland for a while until I start adding shadows, but this will just give it a bit more personality, I feel. Um, and then, in a moment, I think I'm going to start eye-dropping colors. Yeah, so I'm basically eye-dropping colors at this point from around the image, and just trying to unify it a bit. I can't remember where I picked that up from, but basically, the idea is if you use colors that are already in your image, it'll tie it together more nicely. So that's kind of the idea here. I'm just eye-dropping here and there, and kind of sort of adding a bit of colors that are already there. Um, now I'm going to be pushing those buildings in the background. So I added the bluish purpley color from the sky. Just push it further away from us. Uh, and now I'm adding the shadows. In a moment I think I'm going to move the moon. Yeah. So I decided I didn't really like the moon there. The shadows weren't interesting enough. So I moved it a bit. I still kind of cheat the shadows. But it's a little more believable like this. And it gets a bit more of the kind of look I want. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to get a bit of the silhouettes from other buildings. Uh, I guess casting shadows on each other. Right now I'm doing the same thing to Cyber 6. Uh, just, you know, filling out in shadows, nothing fancy. Uh, I will be changing that a little later. So... I was going back and forth on whether or not I wanted it to have kind of the flat, just black for the outfit with the nice highlight. That's what they do in both the comic and the show. Um, I kind of still have a bit of light source sh peeking through, but I do end up going with more of the graphic white highlight. Um, so right now I'm just tweaking colors. That, honestly, at this point, that's going to be the majority of it. It's going to be tweaking colors. Nothing crazy different's going to change. So, right now I'm doing the clouds. The clouds are going to change a bit, but nothing too crazy. Uh, I'm doing, I'm putting in stars. They're all going to disappear in a moment. What I actually do is I toss in, which you'll see shortly, I'm going to toss in an image I actually did a while back. I think it's on my DeviantArt. It's, I believe I called it Nebula or something. I made it as a backdrop for an Aghanim piece. It was actually... So he's a villain from uh, Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. So there was a collaboration or project like that way back when. Anyways, long story short, it was a backdrop for that piece. Uh, I will be throwing it into the background... Maybe it's not this early. I, At some point I will be. Anyway, so I just threw in the fog while I was rambling about nothing, I guess. Uh, I'm throwing in moonbeams, which I quickly found out, well, there's nothing to really cast them where I want them to shine, so I took them out. Uh, throwing in more colors from around the image. Uh, putting some 
atmospheric perspective in the far, far background to push it further, adding some some effects, I guess. Okay, so there's that image. That's the image that I did way back when. If you're wondering how I got it so fast, you can see it. It's on my DeviantArt somewhere. But anyways, um, yeah, I threw it in there. That's where the stars come back from. It was already in the image. Uh, I will be toning them all down a little later. But I, I just kind of liked how I did the sky in that. And I thought, I already did the work. No point spending time doing the work again. So I just threw it in. Okay, so now I'm testing out the tones, seeing the values of everything. Now it's pretty much done. So I'm just doing the very, very last effect. Uh, darkening things that need to be darkened. Fixing contrast. That's honestly at this point, this is pretty much the image. Uh, nothing major happens. I, I think you're going to see the final effects happening right about now. Yes? Okay, yeah, I'm adding noise, so that's pretty much the end of it. Alright, so I think that's about it. Yeah, that looks like it's about it. It might tweak a tiny bit from here and that's all. Okay, I lied. It is tweaking a bit more, but... Okay, adding some more effects, but that's gotta be it. I'm sure it's pretty much it here. Okay, yeah, so that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you liked it. I hope I didn't ramble too much. Uh, yeah. T let me know if you guys like this stuff. If you guys do, I'll try to make some more. Uh, yeah. And otherwise, stay tuned for that video I promised a bajillion years ago. Alright, see you guys.